Okay, hello, YouTube, and welcome to the after day two of WrestleMania shit talk rant. How are you on this fine evening of the thing that I just witnessed? So how should I do this? Should I just go down the list of matches and talk about them, I guess? And keep in mind that literally I predicted most of this fucking card. And I have not watched this damn product in months. I didn't even know what was happening. But I still predicted most of the damn card. That is fucking sad. Okay, anyways. Hello there, I'm Melissa. Welcome to this brand that I'm about to have with you. Here we go. So, I, I really don't know how to start this. Should I just go down the list of matches from top to bottom, I guess, potentially? Sure. Guess that's how we're going to do this. Okay. So, Brock versus Drew. For the WWE Championship. I predicted that Drew was going to win. And he did in 5 minutes. After I think a few Claymores. Yeah. It was just some Claymores and whatnot, And it was like 5 minutes stupid. I knew that it wasn't going to be very long though. Because no Lesnar match is that long. So there's that. Um, Goldberg versus Strowman for the Universal title. I said Strowman was going to win, and Strowman did win. So there's that, too. I don't even really remember much about this match. Um, other than it was... I think that was another really quick match. I believe it was fairly quick and stupid, probably, to Edge versus, um, Edge versus Randy Orton in the last man standing match. Okay. I knew Edge was going to win. I called it. But here's the thing. I didn't hate this match entirely. My biggest issue, I think, with this match is what they, for what they were trying to have these two guys do. They're just, they're just a little too old to be doing it at this point. I, I mean, Edge, I know, is fairly up there, and I believe Randy's getting there, too. So, have I... I mean, really, um, I don't think it was terrible. It wasn't one of the worst things I've ever seen, I would say. But it wasn't anything spectacular. It wasn't WrestleMania great worthy or anything. I mean... Wasn't anything special. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Um. Oh, here's the fun one. <laughs> John Cena versus the Fiend Bray Wyatt in a Firefly Funhouse match. That well, was it even a match? Is the real question. Because what the hell? was that I just want to know I really just want to know what that was because that was the stupidest shit I've ever seen in my life like it, Bray Wyatt trying to read John Cena's mind or some shit or Get into the mind of John Cena. What the hell kind of shit? Huh? That's not a f 
fucking match? Don't call it a match. Don't. It's not fucking wrestling. This isn't wrestling anymore. Okay. And literally, I don't even know who won this match. I can't even say if I predicted the fucking winner. Because I don't know. That's how bad and stupid that shit was. Just so you damn know. Becky Lynch versus Shayna Baszler for the Raw Women's Championship. I said Shayna was going to win this match, but it was Becky. And... Okay, listen. I don't like Shayna Baszler. I don't. I hate her with a burning fucking passion. And I'm starting to... I mean, I don't think Becky's terrible. That match was highly mediocre. At best. It wasn't anything special to me. I wasn't going out of that match talking about someone from that match. I wasn't. So, Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte Flair for the NXT Women's Championship. I completely thought Rhea had it in the bag. Okay? Because I was like, oh, Rhea's the one that's on NXT. That makes fucking sense. It's logical. But no! They had Charlotte win, which Charlotte is definitely the better fucking wrestler. Okay, the Undertaker versus AJ Styles in a boneyard match. This was stupid, pointless, didn't need to fucking happen at all. Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins. Okay, <laughs> I have so many things that I could say about this match. I mean, the, the noises, the, the, just the match itself was fucking bad. It was bad. There was so many things wrong with this match. That I just, I don't want to even go on a whole fucking thing about it. I don't, I really fucking don't. Because it could take fucking years. So that's all I'm going to say. Bailey versus Lacey Evans versus Tamina versus Naomi versus Sasha Banks in the, for the SmackDown Women's Championship in an elimination match. I have, okay, I said Sasha was going to win this, but I knew it was going to be either Sasha or Bailey. I fucking said it. And it was fucking Bailey. But you know what I thought was fucking stupid? That Sasha didn't win. Because it made fucking sense. It literally made... It made more sense than having Bailey win. I completely thought Bailey was fucking gonna lose that shit. And then have a match. And it'd be done with. And Sasha could have a good ass reign. Finally. After all these damn years. Sasha gets something. Cool. It would have been great, but no! They made it stupid! And fucking predictable as shit! Okay. Sami Zayn versus Daniel Bryan for the Intercontinental title. Was this match bad? I don't. See, the thing is, is the first night's matches, I don't fully remember. That's how fucking bad that night was. I don't even remember most of it. But, I'm just going to say this. I don't know what the hell they got Sammy wearing now. And why the hell they have him wearing it. But it's fucking ugly. And it needs to go. Oh, and I knew Sammy was going to win. So there's that. And I haven't even fucking watched a product in months. So I should tell you how shitty this is. Morrison 
John Morrison versus Kofi Kingston versus Jimmy Uso for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship in the ladder match. I didn't even pay fucking attention to this match because I don't give a shit. So I have to tell you, I literally don't give a shit about any of these damn people. Can't they just use a tag team like the fucking Revival or someone good or I don't know, fucking sign good tag teams and make them good? Or, oh, use Gallows and Anderson for something other than being AJ Styles sidekicks, which by the way, I have other fucking problems with. So now, the Street Profits versus Austin Theory and Angel Garza for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. I knew Street Profits were winning the match. I fucking hate the Street Profits, but I still knew it. I still knew that they were gonna fucking win. And this match was, again, mediocre at best. Again, mediocre at best. Be the Kabuki Warriors versus Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross for the Women's Tag Team Championships. Now listen, Alexa Bliss, great during this match. Love her. Yes. Nikki Cross is a fucking idiot. I fucking hate her. She needs to go somewhere, not here. And Asuka and fucking Kyrie in this match, I fucking love them. Typically, I think they're great, typically, but this was not their best match at all. It wasn't even close to their best match. Aleister Black versus Bobby Lashley. I mean, okay, who cares? Literally, who gives a shit? I knew Aleister was gonna win. I don't like either of these people, so I didn't even fully fucking watch this match. I'm not gonna lie and say I gave a shit and watched the match, because I didn't, because it was that fucking pointless and stupid in the first place. Elias versus Baron Corbin. I said Elias was gonna win. I said it, I called it, WWE are that fucking predictable still, and you know what? It's stupid. So, okay, fair enough, the match was okay. It was okay at best. It wasn't great, it wasn't WrestleMania worthy, that's for damn sure. Um, Otis versus Dolph Ziggler. I have so many things to say about this. I didn't even, feel, I haven't fully watched this match. I'm going to be 100% honest. As much as I oh, am okay with Ziggler as a wrestler, I didn't watch it. But I still got fucking pissed off that Ziggler didn't win. Because they keep fucking burying Ziggler for no reason at all, ever. And it makes no sense why he even was interjected into this whole stupid fucking thing that they're doing with Mandy Rose and Otis and who gives a shit in the first place. I don't, ain't nobody else give a shit. Who cares? Ain't no one give a shit. Cesaro versus Drew Gulak. Cesaro was great in this match. You go Cesaro. Cesaro was always great. Yes, Cesaro. Thank you, Cesaro, for being a good fucking wrestler. For once in WWE's history, they have a good wrestler, but they don't use him right. They put him on the fucking kickoff show. So there's that. Gulak, sure, he's there. But guess what? Because Cesaro, I'm going to say it was okay. And I knew Cesaro was going to win. Natalia versus like Natalia looks like shit now. Hands down, she looks fucking horrible. I'm sorry. She does. Ain't no one going to tell me different. And I knew Liv was winning the match. Liv was the only good part of the match. I ain't no fucking idiot. Okay, Liv Morgan for life, bitch. Okay, anyways, so now I'm ending this thing, and I hope you guys enjoyed my tiny little rant thing, whatever it is. I don't even know anymore. 
all of this was fucking dumb and stupid and pointless. I don't know why they had a WrestleMania. Because it was just bad. And they needed to just cancel it or do something. Or, I don't know. Not have a WrestleMania right now. They needed fucking time. That's all I'm going to say. Give me better matches. And maybe your company won't go under. <laughs> okay, anyways. Goodbye, everyone. I will see you next time. You can agree or disagree with me in the comments. I'll tell you. You can give it a thumbs up if you like it and agree. And if you like me, you think I my face is amazing you can subscribe oh if, i guess if you want you can turn on the notification bell if you if, if my uploads are that important to you um that's also something i think people say on here i don't know sure goodbye